Hi guys, in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to push and develop color film at home. I had this roll of cine steel sitting in my fridge for a few months now. I shot it back in November when I was in Vienna for my birthday. And I shot it only at night, so I had to push it by two stops. For those of you who don't know what pushing means, basically you shoot your film at a higher ISO than it's supposed to and then you extend the developing time. This is very common among film, uh, black and white film photographers because most of them are developing their, their film themselves. But for color film, um, most labs don't, won't be able to push uh, color film because their machine are automatic and they don't have any way to adjust the developing time. So usually you have to do it yourself at home too and that's what we are going to do today. Initially this film was used to make a uh, motion picture film, that's where it takes its legendary cinematic look from. Uh, the company CineSteel made it usable in cameras by removing a layer called Ramjet, it's something used in cinema but we don't need it as photographers. And by removing this layer, they allow us to develop uh, this film in C41 chemistry. Uh, another advantage of this film is that it can be pushed even more than 800 ISO. You can push it up to 3200 ISO and that's what I've done so I'm going to show you how to develop it this way. Okay so now our film is ready uh, but before we start developing let me explain you how we're gonna do with how we're gonna manage the time. When you develop with the tetanol color tech that we've seen in the previous video uh, you have two options actually three but the two most common are to develop at 30 degrees which we've done already but for pushing film, they recommend um, 38 degrees. So when you check on the instruction, they recommend to extend the developing time by 30 seconds per stop. It means that today uh, we would need to push the, to extend the developing time by one minute since uh, I pushed the film by two stops. But I spoke with a guy on the CineSteel Film Group on Facebook who suggested to extend the time by at least a minute or a minute 15. Uh, per stop and I thought it was a bit too much and I was afraid that the color would uh, shift and it wouldn't look accurate so um, I went in between and so at the normal speed the film should be developed at 3 minutes and 15 seconds so as per the instruction I should have had 1 minute which would make 4 minutes and 15 seconds but I went a bit further and I added an extra 30 seconds. So in total, I developed the film for 4 minutes and 45 seconds. Okay, time's over. Now we're gonna need three things. Developer, the Blix, and stabilizer. So as I said, uh, the developer has to be at 38 degrees. Okay, so now time for the fixer. And this thing's really stick. Before we put the stabilizer inside, we have to rinse the film to remove this nasty guy from there. 
so it has to be for, uh, for three minutes and the temperature should be between 30 and 40 degrees so let's go in the bathroom and we're gonna do this now okay 37 degrees we are good and now for three minutes we have to put clean water inside so keep changing the water like this you make sure that you remove all the leaks and that your thing is perfectly clean stabilizer for one minute temperature for this one is not really critical should be between 20 and 30 degrees so we are okay here all right i forgot the timer but it's okay this one is not really time critical so here we go You don't need to close the lid on this one, just agitate a bit, remove the bubbles. For this one, make sure you are using a, a clean funnel. You don't want to mix those chemicals with the, the stabilizer, it has to stay perfectly clean. Okay, and now let's see if we have images in there. Okay, so I just scanned the, the images and I'm really, really happy with the result. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, the colors are very good and they are really accurate. Uh, the grain is also very well contained. I was expecting much more grain for uh, 800 uh, ISO film push to 3200. But uh, no, really guys, I'm very, very surprised and you should definitely give a try yourself too because it's not as complicated as it seems and it can push the boundaries and the limits of shooting film at night, so really a positive experience. I hope this introduction to developing and pushing your own color film will give you some confidence to try it yourself. Uh, if you have any suggestion or film you'd like me to review or push, uh, please let me know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because uh, I've got more videos to share with you soon. See you guys!